few months back I did a video on how I use the Surface Pro 3 and a lot of people have asked me questions about how I have my setup when I'm in the office from that video. So I thought I'd just show you a little bit more detail now that a few months have passed and I've actually improved my setup quite a bit here. The first thing that you'll see is that I'm running the Surface Pro 3 docking station now. So basically when I'm with the Surface, I, uh, <coughs> I'm out and about and I have my keyboard attached like so. When I come into the office, I simply pull that away and I pop the keyboard away over there. It's just sorting itself out. I'm going to plug it in to the docking station now. And what I have here uh, plugged into the docking station, first of all, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard. This is an old Microsoft Mobile 6000 keyboard that I use. I've been using it for many years and I quite like it. It works really well with Bluetooth. I'm using the Surface Arc mouse which is an absolute must-have accessory, I think, for the Surface Pro 3 because it's a beautiful mobile mouse. It's Bluetooth, so it doesn't take up one of those ports, those precious ports, USB ports on your tablet or on your docking station, but it actually folds flat. And when it folds flat, you can see that it's actually turned off. When I want to use it again, I simply just twist the arc there like that, and you can see that the blue light's on there, that the, the mouse is ready to go and use. And it's quite a comfortable, nice-feeling mouse um, I don't really like the touch scrolling device on it there, but you get used to it. So that's my ergonomic setup here with a, a keyboard and mouse. But with the docking station itself, what I've got plugged into it here is a brand new 4K ASUS monitor. I chose this 4K monitor because it has the capability of running at 60 hertz, um, even though the Surface currently can only run at 30 hertz at 4K. So I'm using that one there just for a little bit of future proofing. I've taken my old 1080p screens that didn't really run very well with the surface with, with screen scaling and what I've done is I've just rotated them around and uh, put them, mounted them at either side of my 4K screen. What that effectively does is it gives me four screens to use and the way I'm achieving that is this device just over on the side here. This is the device that I was using previously. It's a uh, display link docking station, this one made by Targus and it has two external monitor ports on it. So it allows me to plug in these old screens into this device here. I then plug that in via USB 3 into the Surface Pro 3 docking station. So this monitor goes directly into the docking station here via the display port. It's important to get the right cable to be able to do that. Uh, it needs to be at least a mini display to display port 1.2 standard cable in order to make this work. But uh, once you do that, you plug that directly into the docking station itself and then the extra dock is what I'm using to power up these extra screens. Okay, as a demonstration here, I'm going to bring up my video on the, uh, the Surface Pro 3, how I work with the Surface Pro 3. This is a video that's shot in 1080p. You can see that it's running at full HD now, even though that's half the resolution of what's available effectively on the, uh, in fact it's a quarter of the resolution that's available on the 4K screen here, but you can see in terms of frame rate and, uh, and motion and those sorts of things, the 30 hertz works just fine for video work. It's probably not ideal for gaming, but it does work. If I switch it over here onto one of my external monitors running across the USB port, you'll see the same, that the video runs just fine. It's not uh, broken or anything like that. You can see as I transfer my window from monitor to monitor with video running on it, it works pretty seamlessly. The point of showing you this is so that you can see that the Surface, like any of the other Windows tablets that are in this category, so as a laptop replacement device with an Intel Core processor, we do have a no compromises laptop replacement style device. And it's really just about how you choose to set up your work environment, how far you want to go with this. I don't recommend the Surface or any of those Windows tablets as a gaming rig because they're not designed to do that. But for the average office worker or mobile worker like myself, when I'm in the office, this is just an awesome setup. And when I go out of the office, which is quite frequently of course, being able to take my whole office with all of my information, all of my documents and, uh, and programs and the things that I use when I'm in the office, to be able to go out and to be mobile with that on the device as it is, is just absolute gold.